Okay, so I'm going to go over some apps that you should have on your phone that are really good that I have on my phone. So as you can see my screen here, um, HAR is a great app to have on your phone. I'm going to click that. That's going to actually uh, open up a whole bunch of stuff once you're a member of HAR, obviously. I talk about it in another video. I'm a platinum video member, which gives me extra things that HAR offers. It's about $150 extra a year. Um, HAR, you can log in on your computer, HAR.com. Um, but if you're on the go, this is a great app. This is mirroring my iPhone. So um, I have to click on it with my iPhone here because it's mirroring it. Now, you can do a nearby search, which gives you uh, nearby homes for sale, for lease. And that's great if you want to maybe pop up real quick. A client says, hey, what's that house going for? Just go to this, click nearby homes for sale. And then it'll actually give you what's for sale around the area. The green is active. The um, yellow or orange is pending and the um, red is sold. And you're like, wow, that's a lot going on there in the in the Katy area. Yeah, I know. But you can click the filter and filter it down. Sorry, I accidentally hit the uh, uh, select button with that or the list button. What that does is actually gives you a list of everything starting from the highest. Okay. Now what you can do is you can hit filter and you can filter it down. Single family homes, um, only for sale, bedrooms, bathrooms, price, zero to like 350. Hit that search button at the bottom and then it gives you what's actually active on the market. And you can click, like I just clicked that one and then it actually gives me a little overview. You can click here and then it'll give you the whole thing. Uh, the cool thing about that is if you click this agent full report, it actually shows you what it shows you on the HAR dot com website on your on your computer pretty cool huh even down to the attachments you can actually open those attachments up i don't want to go too deep into it but another cool thing is with that listing i pulled up you can actually here's a great tool you can actually see what the hoa fees are you can see everything what i like to do when a client asks me how much uh, the monthly payments are, of course, you need your lender to verify or their lender to verify it uh, by all means. But what you could do to just to give them an, like a, an overview would be to go, you can view the, uh, the tax rate information. Um, tax rate and details will give you the rate, the final rate, and then um, subdivision information, school information. I mean, it literally gives you everything. So play around with that. But another a good thing, to, to, here's the taxes as well, right here. A third thing you could do to find the tax information would be to hit this tax profile report. Okay. So what I wanna do lastly is show you um, the more, they give you kind of a mortgage uh, loan calculator. So you, so don't, don't go by this, um, hit the view calculator and more. I want you to click the edit button. And then I want you to change these terms. This is with 20% down, unless your client's putting 20% down. Most people put three and a half or 5% down if they're first time home buyers. Um, actually it really just depends. That's, it just depends on the client. So go by that and go by what the lender tells you. Um, again, the lender can do this, but this is just another uh, good example to just kind of give you some good numbers, 30-year loan, 30-year mortgage uh, price. They, they just grab the list, the, the asking price or the list price. So you can change that if you want. 5% um, down automatically calculated the down payment. Um, loan terms, 30 years. Yep. Uh, interest rate, you can change it. If you want, it depends on what the interest rates are or what your lender tells you they are. But when you hit calculate, 
it recalculates what you just put in. Uh, and then it does not figure, so uh, your, your payment is P-I-T-I, remember that, P-I-T-I, principal interest taxes and insurance. Add another P, P-I-T-I-P. -I -I so I'll explain. Principal and interest, P-I, taxes, T, insurance, I, the extra P is P-M-I, mortgage insurance. Typically, if you're not putting down or your client isn't putting down uh, 20%, depending on the loan, uh, they have to pay mortgage insurance. So this isn't giving a homeowner's insurance to that or the PMI to that. So really, you need to add uh, whatever the insurance, homeowner's insurance is, premium, annual premium divided by 12 to that, and then whatever PMI is to that. So that would not be the total payment unless you add the homeowner's insurance and the PMI but it gives you a good idea, less those factors. And then it gives you the subdivision and the school information. Another thing to have in handy, uh, you can also do different searches on here as well. So another good thing to have handy. Would be the um, business card, your digital business card right here. That is free, by the way. And I just set it up with my information, Facebook page, Texas United Realty. I added that logo and uh, my picture. I think the logo was already saved into the system of this hi, hello which is right there. Okay, another one straight down is Allegiance. It's an Allegiance uh, app from Holly Presley, who sponsors a lot of our agent um, functions. Holly Presley is the marketer of Allegiance Title Company. She informed me of this app. I actually hit edit address and just put in this address. It's one of my listings. I'm gonna, it's, it automatically calculated the annual property taxes. And then it's gonna tell me if I'm, if I'm representing the seller or the buyer, what the, um, what the uh, closing costs are. So I got to enter a price, let's say 300,000. Oops, one too many zeros. For a 30 year interest rate, we can change that. Um, this would be if, you know, depending on what the buyer's interest rate is. Taxes, closing date, let's say, just say April 29th. This is just throwing that out there. Com commute. It's asking me if I want to do the recorded taxes or the estimated uh, recorded tax or the estimated tax. Um, probably should do the estimated tax because I think this property it has a uh, um, over 65 exemption on it and your new buyer isn't going to get that. So you may want to do, or the lender is not going to estimate it, those taxes at low. So I would do the estimated uh, tax. Boom. Gives your buyer the actual closing costs breakdown. And then you can actually go and forward that to your buyer. Click closing costs, and then you can see the breakdown. Remember, closing costs are divided up in four different categories, more or less. I know I'm talking a lot of fours, but um, your prepaids, Title company fees, lender fees, and I call it miscellaneous at the bottom. I would probably put the survey into the miscellaneous fee if it were me, but that's okay. And prepaids is the uh, the buffer account the, or the taxes and insurance that you need to add um, at closing into the, uh, well, the buyer is adding this into their uh, escrow account.
uh, so the lender can pay their taxes and insurance for them. Of course, they'll still be paying it in their mortgage in their 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 payments as well. But more on that later. But that's a great tool. You can also do um, this. Kind of gives you the uh, the immediate breakdown with the different payments. See, this does include the PMI and the insurance. Those are estimates. And of course the taxes were that was an estimate as well. So principal and interest was is spot on because I, of if that's the interest rate they're gonna have. So then it tells you the down payment, the prepaids, and then the, uh, the fixed closing costs. So it tells you how much closing costs you need to bring. Of course, you can edit some of these things if you feel like it's because some of these are, are, are estimates or just taking a, a guess at who's paying it. So you can you can estimate like miscellaneous lender fees. You can you can you can add, edit that by hitting the edit button. I'll show you the edit button right there. And then appraisal fee that that does seem kind of low. They're typically at least five hundred dollars. Okay, so underwriting, survey, surveys are a little more than that as well, I would say. But it depends on who's paying for it as well, like the seller could be paying for that. But anyway, this just gives your, your buyer a good idea. Okay. So then when you hit done, uh, I just want to do this for this estimate. I don't want to change everything. It's going to tell you, it's going to recalculate, okay? And then you can do the same thing for the buyer or the seller, sorry. You're going to add the address. It actually pulls it up from the tax records. So that's pretty cool. Click add address. And then uh, you would need to loan, uh, put in the loan balance because they probably owe money on that house, right? Once you hit commute, it's gonna tell them how much net they get after the, uh, the balance of the loan and then the, uh, the taxes and then the closing costs. And then again, you can hit options, closing costs, and you can change the fees if you feel like you need to, okay? or the terms of the loan. Okay, so another cool uh, thing to do is Zocam to have on your phone. That you don't really need to do much with. Uh, this is how uh, your buyers send earnest money and option money to the title company if the title company accepts Zocam. I did wanna show you, hit this drop down button, hit the demo. And you can actually play a little demo of how it works. It's not very long. It explains to you how Zocam works. Okay. Then this is what I want you to ask you. I want you to have it on your phone. It's called New Home Source. This allows you to look at brand new home communities that aren't on necessarily on HAR. A lot of new homes subscribe to this, new home communities. Hit search and play around with it. It's not that hard. It's pretty close to um, communities. It's being a little slow on me. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, I reloaded it. Let's see if it works now. There we go. You can do a map search as well. Zoom out. And it tells you what new homes communities are in the area. Kind of like HAR. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, again, that's called new home source. Zocam, Allegiance, one, uh, Allegiance Title Company. Go back to that. Allegiance Agent One. It's at the top. 
hi, hello, and H-A-R. Oh, one more I wanted to mention is um, my every lender usually has an app. That my lender, Brian Smith, he has an app. And that client, I don't know why I'm having internet trouble, but anyway, that lender, I'll go to my, my um, that lender will have a app, app or a website. This particular one is loansbybrian.net. I have it memorized. I tell my clients to hit pre-qualify. It's always good to kind of go through the website and just, if your clients are going to be asking you questions, then you should kind of be familiar with it yourself. Enter in your info. Um, I, I mean, I don't need to do this because I'm not getting a loan, but at least get hit, get started. At least I'll understand it if my client asks me a question. Um, so that's another good idea to kind of, kind of do that yourself if you're working with a lender that has a website that they can get pre-qualified with. Anyway, that's just some tips on some apps that you should have on your phone. I hope you enjoyed. We'll talk, uh, we'll talk later. More to come.